Okay, Transplant Hubbard community, here I am once again sitting outside my kids' school with basically nothing to do but think and to talk, okay? So I thought I'd pause for just a moment and ask you a question as the viewer, and that is, when are you most likely to experience organ rejection? Now, I basically know statistically the answer to that, and that is that you're most likely to experience organ rejection inside of the first year. As a matter of fact, 80% of transplant recipients experience some form of rejection inside of that first year. So that's kind of the answer to this. But as I'm thinking that through even farther, I began to kind of run through some things that I cannot really prove medically. I don't know that this is absolute fact, albeit I'd like to find out. But I can basically through my eyes statistically tell you that you're also likely to experience rejection when your body is weak, particularly when you are sick, when you're suffering with a cold, a flu, a virus, any form of infection, basically, I've seen so many people experience rejection either during that time or shortly thereafter. Now, again, I don't know why this is. I don't have any medical documentation, don't have any proof, but I just see it keep occurring over and over again. So I want to make a suggestion to you. It's just a thought, just a theory. And that is my theory is that you experience rejection when you're sick or have an infection because your body is fighting so hard right then. That's when your immune system is raised to its highest level. That's when those antibodies are really going in and going after whatever it is that's causing you to be sick. And it's my theory, at least, that when that's happening there, when it's fighting the cold, the flu, the virus, you know, kind of dukes up situation, that while it's doing that, it's as if it almost steps in and says, hey, what are you doing here, organ? What are you doing in, in this body? You know, you're not allowed to be here. And since we're already over here kicking the flu's butt or fighting the virus over here, we're going to kick you out too because no one is welcome in this body that doesn't need to be here or that doesn't belong. You know, I know that's a way of animating that. That's maybe a way of putting words to something that's not even animated, if that's a word, uh, that's not even real. But at the same time, it's a theory. So I want to ask you, what do you think about that? Is the potential for uh, coming under the, the burden of rejection heightened when you were sick? I think a few of you will probably say, absolutely yes. You remember back to the time when you experienced rejection, whether it be just an R2, maybe in more severe cases an R3, and you say, wait a minute, that's when that occurred, when I had just dealt with this, so when I'd just gone through that, when I wasn't feeling my best, that's when it came on. Just a theory, just a thought. Comment below, let me know what you think. See if you see the correlation or the relationship between these two things. I appreciate you watching this video, and as always, stay stronger, friends.